2016 polyset old question paper we are explaining physics as a first part of polyset 2016 old question paper students so now you can see the questions first question which among the following is an example for condensation so you know condensation is nothing but process of changing gas into liquid so water converting into ice wet to close getting dried water converting into vapor formation of dew so formation of dew is an example for condensation but you know droplets of water condensed from water vapor due to condensation is called dew so dew is formed by condensation now 62 bit student 127 degree celsius plus 400 kelvins plus x equal to 1000 kelvins then what is the value of x so now we can solve this is 62 students 62 127 degree celsius plus 400 kelvins plus x equal to 1000 kelvins then we want to find x value this is so first we want to change all into kelvins so here kelvin here kelvin only one value is in degree celsius so you know 127 degree celsius equal to 127 plus 273 so for converting degree celsius into kelvins formula is c plus 273 so 170 127 273 400 so this implies 127 degree celsius equal to 400 kelvins plus 400 kelvins plus x equal to 1000 kelvins 400 plus 400 800 kelvins plus x equal to plus x equal to 1000 k this implies x is equals to 1000 kelvins minus 800 kelvins so then x is equals to 200 kelvins so now we want to check the options so you can see 127 degree celsius plus 400 kelvins plus x equal to 1000 kelvins then value of x so this is and this is the solution you can see next 63rd one students which among the following material has a specific heat of higher than ice so here you can see glass mercury and copper all these are have lower specific heat so water has higher specific heat specific heat of water is 1 calorie per gram degree celsius whereas ice is 0.5 uh, calorie per gram degree celsius so remaining all are having lower uh, specific heat comparing with ice next to 64th one students which among the following is used by the dentist to see the image so dentist head mirror concave mirror so concave mirror can be used by the dentist as a head mirror next if u and v be the object and image distance for a spherical mirror spherical mirror that is concave mirror or convex mirror then the magnification is minus v by u students minus v by u where v is image distance u is object distance and magnification m is equals to minus v by u so from sign convention we can get this next one students 66 66 you can see the distance between pole and focal point of a concave mirror is 12 cm then what is the radius of curvature 66 pole and uh, focal point of concave mirror so 66th bit students 66th one 
it is a symbol for concave mirror and this is a principal axis and this midpoint is called pole denoted by p and it is a focal point denoted by capital f so distance from focal point to pole is focal length and it is a center of curvature distance from distance from center of curvature to pole is sent radius of curvature or the relation it is a focal length this distance is a focal length and this distance is a radius relation between radius and focal length is r is equals to 2f r is equals to 2f but in the problem in the 66th problem the distance between pole and focal length is given 15 cm 15 centimeter then we want to find radius of curvature so from here to here f value is a given that is p2 capital f f value is a given 15 centimeter then we want to calculate radius r but you know the relation between radius and focal length is r is 2f so r is equals to 2 into 15 that is 30 centimeter this is the answer so now you can see the options 1.5 cm 1.5 cm 15 cm 30 cm and 45 cm next 67 students read the following statements and pick the correct answer real image can be captured on the screen it is right virtual image can be captured on the screen it is not right so this is wrong this is right so only a is a true because real image only can be formed on the screen virtual image cannot be formed on the screen next 68th one students filament of the filament of an electric bulb is usually made of tungsten the reason for this one is specific resistance high and also high melting point due to presence of high melting point high specific resistance so it can be used as a filament in the electric bulb so 1 joule per coulomb is equal to so what about 1 joule per coulomb equal to 69th one student 69th one 1 joule per coulomb is what but you know potential difference v is given by the formula w by q si unit of potential difference is volt so 1 volt equal to si unit of work is a joule and charge is coulomb so 1 volt is equals to 1 joule per coulomb so this one 69th one students you can see 1 joule per 1 1 joule per coulomb is 1 joule per coulomb is 1 ampere or 1 watt 1 weber 1 volt so this is option so drift velocity of an electron in a copper wire is about 0.07 mm per second so drift velocity is nothing but the constant average velocity of an electron so during the journey in a conductor is a drift velocity or drift speed it is a 0.07 mm per second next to 71 students three resistors of value each one 3 ohms are connected in parallel combination their equivalent resistance so 71 71 three resistors heaving Uh, each one has 3 ohms are connected in parallel then what is the resultant resistance we know in parallel combination 1 by r is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 this implies 1 by r is equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 lcm is 3 then this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 so then it is a cancellation 1 by 1 then r by 1 is equals to 1 by 1 this implies r is equals to 1 ohm so you can see 71 so 71 students it is 1 ohm then 72 at constant temperature ratio of potential difference to current is not constant for the following dash so this is from ohms law students this is from ohms law 72 but you know from ohms law v directly proportional to i potential difference is directly proportional to i or v is equals to r into i 
or v by i is equals to r r is a constant but ohm's law can be verified through only metallic conductors so that is why metallic conductors are called ohmic conductors so it means that through the metallic conductors like iron aluminum copper you can show that v by i is constant here r is a constant v by i from ohm's law v by i is constant it can be verified by a material or through the material which are called ohmic conductors so here here you can see the question at the constant temperature the ratio of potential difference to current is not a constant is constant for iron copper and aluminum but this is through this one when you when you experiment for verification of ohms law through the led you cannot show that v by i is constant v by i is not constant can be verified through this so through this v by i is not a constant that is why it is the option next 73 a bulb of resistance 200 ohms is connected to 10 volt battery then power consumption what is 73 students a bulb of resistance r is 200 ohms given connected to 10 volts battery potential difference is 10 volts then we want to calculate of uh, power but in the previous video we derived the formula p is equals to v square by r that is 10 square 10 square means 10 into 10 r means 200 that is 0 0 0 that is 1 by 2 so r is 0.5 ohm r is 0.5 ohm so you can check it so it is a, a ohm not this is a watts because power power we want to calculate students sorry so p p is equals to 0.5 watts 0.5 watts so you can see this is this is the option so remaining bits can be in the next video